What's up guys, Exotic here. Today's video will be about how to install Rain. I'll do a complete guide on uh, how to get Rain working. And if your Rain is not working, I'll make sure to uh, give you all the solutions that I know on how to fix it and make it working. So let's hope we'll make sure to fix your game or get Rain running. So first things first guys, as I used to do, I do a complete beginner guide. So if you don't want to uh, go through all the very beginner steps, how to get content manager, win route, just skip ahead. I'll make sure to leave uh, all the links down in the description for the downloads and all the time timestamps. So everyone has to start from somewhere. So I don't judge anyone if he is not uh, tech savvy or can like uh, having hard time using computer. So first things first, we go into WinRAR. You want to download WinRAR, just download it. Um, next up, we got now we got the WinRAR. We open it. You just start it. This is the executionable. Press yes. Just install it in C. This is like the smallest program possible, so you can just install in C. Now going into Content Manager, we got the WinRAR done. Uh, going to Content Manager, guys, this is probably the best uh, thing you can have for a set of Corsa. You can manage absolutely everything from there. So you download Content Manager. Uh, this is the link. It will be again in the description, guys. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep doing more guides and try to help you out. This is all about, guys. This channel is for entertainment and help purposes. And uh, I'll make sure to keep providing you with updates and so on. So these are your two files for Content Manager. My advice is to create a folder, get these two files into the folder. This is how your Content Manager you should look. Like when you go to Drive, you select the car, you select the map. Uh, you go to lap times, you have a lot of stuff. Anyways, back to the topic. Now you have yourself content manager. We'll reach to content manager. We are going now to wet mode. So wet mode, press download. We're just going to skip that step because I already have wet mode downloaded. So how to install this, guys? Uh, we go to root folder, set of courses. So um, just skip this. The most important um, thing to remember how to find your set of course root folder, you find your Steam. When you go to Steam, you go to Steam apps, come on a set of courses. So basically, let's say like uh, you found you find your Steam, then you go to Steam apps, you go to come on a set of courses. This is your root folder. You can see I have a bit of screenshots and so much uh, crap here. Next thing, we open wet mode. All you have to do, guys, select these, drag and drop into a set of courses root folder. Now I have them, so I don't I don't want to drag and drop them. Uh, next up, you see you have this mods folder. These are all the stuff here, all the mods uh, that you enable and uh, can use or disable. So here's the wet mode. I have no idea what uh, else I have installed. It's like probably testing and playing around with things. Uh, we're just gonna run this uh, executionable, this file. So you wanna find this jsgme.exe and run it. So this is your mod enabler, basically. This is the wet mode. Uh, how you enable wet mode, let's say uh, the wet mode was deactivated. So basically, just treat these arrows are as deactivate, activate. So you see activated mods are on the right side, available mods, which are not currently working, are on the left side. So we're gonna select the wet mode, oh my bad. We're gonna click enable mode, and you see it's loading. So it's still currently activating it. And there you go. You have your wet mode working. So that's about it, guys. Very, very simple for the wet mode. Uh, now, in order, guys, to have rain, just remember this. You will not get rain if you use just the standard public version of Custom Shader Patch. If you go here and you go about an updates on Custom Shader Patch, if you use 1.78, you will not have rain. Rain comes like with like any of these versions probably the older ones just skip them but like rain comes with the preview versions only they are the paid versions how to get them you go to Ilya Yusupov again link in the description guys you go to this guy here on patreon you can just donate a dollar and uh, get get it for get it for dollar and you have it then the installation is very simple uh, and I'll show you how. Uh, now, how to install custom shader patch, going to the installation. It's very simple, guys. You have this lights patch. All you do is you drag and drop. And there you go, update over existing files. Now, as well, I also, I just always do mention this. If you happen to run into a problem where it says, can't install 
two files or can install two things at once all you do guys all you do like we terminate this installation you need to find your content manager in my case taskbar and you have to run it as administrator then you allow it you run it as, as administrator how to fix this you go here install from a file because if you try to do the same thing now oh uh, it, you'll be like oh wait i can't drop it what's what happened that's because you're running in administration mode the program so you go to these three dashes right here on top where's my mouse now you can open the lights patch you see there you go and that's that's how you fix it this is how you overcome this problem so we're gonna terminate this let me open content manager normally because administration mode is a bit of an aid to be honest uh, like not being able to drag and drop so that's how to install custom shader patch the preview version and that's it oh like how to how to make sure you have it you go here and you'll be on this on this version when you just click check on updates it will update you see uh then now this is pure just this is absolutely optional guys i'll leave um probably link in the description for pure as well and if you want to install pure i'll make sure to drop here uh, a screenshot of my other video of the complete guide uh, for all the mods, how to get your set of course unmodded and so on. So please watch that video. We're not gonna waste more time in here. Uh, we're already on a lot of time uh, going. So we're just gonna close this and we are left to Sol. So basically Pure is the paid version of Sol. Like Custom Shader Patch has paid versions. Sol has paid version as well. So about Sol guys, I have a complete video on how to install it. And I'll show you now some of the solutions why your rain is not working we're going on to content manager and how to fix rain now the final final step guys so we're gonna troubleshoot the problems with the rain so the reasons why your rain might not be running uh first things first guys before i forget when you go to content manager go to drive uh we're gonna allow to use patch cars data to activate the extended physics uh what is this doing i think this might fix the windshield problem for all cars i'm not sure if this is like uh, i'm not, i don't think if the cars don't have the physics maybe because some a, a lot of the cars they just they're not that detailed and they don't have some of the physics that support particle effects if i'm not mistaken so when you drive with some of the cars and let's say you have rain you won't see the drops on the windshield just keep in mind it's not because your rain is not working it's because of the car not every model supports just the raindrops on the windshield so i hope i really hope i never use this but i've heard this might fix some of that you see it's very experimental if this causes you any problems just un untick it but you can test this if you want to try I i'll definitely spend some time maybe soon uh trying this out to see if uh it will help next up now what we can do to fix the rain guys we go to a set of course or we go to apps i want you to make sure every single soul application is activated you need to run soul you will not have your rain working without the soul so next up also um one more thing we have to go to weather effects now guys weather effects the thing is need to use soul 2.2 basically the latest as in my video that i've showed you if you don't have pure if you have pure you select soul 2.2 here and you go to peter bose which is the pure 0.115 but in that case we're just going to use this so this will be the basic soul the latest version of soul and that's it make sure the script is correct make sure the weather script is correct uh next up what what might be the possibility uh is that your particle fx is not activated which could result in the the raindrops not working um so this is uh, this is a must-have uh the most important thing if you don't have rain effects working this is the rain this is literally the rain this is what comes with the custom shader uh paid version this is the rain effects you will not have rain effects if you are using custom shader patch 1.78 so keep this in mind enable this then enable weather effects then enable 
particle effects if i even find it there we go my first guess particle effects rain effects then weather effects make sure the script safety thing is fine uh, the other thing your applications might not be activated so keep this in mind everything here must be activated and work correctly so guys uh, these are all the solutions I know uh, please let me know down in the comments if they helped you um, to, uh, give me your feedback like and subscribe I really appreciate it uh, helps the channel grow helps it uh, be exposed to more people and it helps us help more people as well and uh, for now have fun and we'll see you in the next video